Hello everyone and welcome to the latest Tempo Storm Wild Meta Snapshot Breakdown for Skolomance Academy. The 18.2 balance patch has functionally hit the reset button on the Wild Meta game, with the nerf to Dark Glare in particular unlocking the true potential of the Skolomance Academy meta. Now that Dark Glare Zoo Warlock has all but disappeared, we're seeing a flood of decks return to viability, resulting in the largest spread of tier 2 decks we've seen for some time. Although Reno Priest is still considered to be a cut above the rest, it now has a definite target on its back, and the rest of the format is taking aim. Which decks are rising up in the wake of the nerfs to stake their claim to the format's top tiers? Come join our wild meta experts as we track the format's latest developments. As always, be sure to subscribe to the Tempo Strategy YouTube channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with our wild Hearthstone content. Now let's begin. One thing you'll notice about the post-nerf meta is that tier 1 is still dominated by one deck. That deck is now Reno Priest, which emerged from the nerfs untouched to stand tall as the best deck in the format. Between the Highlander package, the Raza Anduin combo, and state of the art combo disruption, Reno Priest can overcome any deck that isn't specifically built to counter it. Lorekeeper Polkelt's ability to stack the deck and ensure that you draw your most powerful cards on time is often enough to spell GG on its own, but that's not to say that the deck's completely bulletproof. Without Dark Lair Zoo Warlock in the mix, Wild is again able to adapt to Reno Priest's power. Quest Mage in particular is seeing a comeback now that it doesn't have to contend with Dark Glare's degeneracy and other decks are adopting strategies that may be enough to keep Reno Priest relatively in check. What's more, Reno Priest doesn't quite stand alone in the top tiers. Kingsbane Rogue rejoins it in tier 1, despite the recent nerf to Secret Passage that slightly reduces the deck's staying power. The Pirate Package still sets a blistering pace, and if Pirates aren't enough, a big Kingsbane is usually more than enough to finish opponents off. Kingsbane Rogue's power is undeniable, but since it can be deterred by anti-aggro tech and weapon removal, it's much easier to counter than Reno Priest, so it's still going to fall short of the top spot. Still, Kingsbane sets the standard for aggro decks in Wild, and it serves as a foil for many of Reno Priest's worst matchups, which earns it a spot alongside Reno Priest in Tier 1. Now that the Shadow of Dark Glare Zoo is lifted, a long list of solid decks from the Ashes of Outland era have returned to viability in Tier 2, and at the top of that list is Discard Warlock. Disco Lock maintains its board-dominating prowess from the Ashes of Outland meta, but now that it doesn't have to compete with Dark Glare Zoo, it's free to return to the spotlight in the new Skolomance meta. In fact, it's become the de facto new home of Dark Lair itself after the nerf, taking advantage of the card's new cost and effect to power rapid redevelopment after board clears. The result is a zoo deck that's faster and more resilient than ever before. Quest Mage is another deck that's becoming a rising stock after the Dark Lair nerf. Dark Lair Zoo was such an abysmal matchup that it threatened to stomp Quest Mage out of the meta, but now that Dark Lair Zoo is gone and Reno Priest has locked down the top spot, Quest Mage is again free to flourish as a solid ladder deck and one of Reno Priest's top counters. What's there to stop Quest Mage from storming Tier 1 and taking the top spot for itself? Quest Mage still has to contend with a natural weakness to fast aggro, and the new Skolomance meta has fast aggro in abundance. Still, Quest Mage's powerful combos and OTK finish are borderline oppressive against slower decks, which still makes it one of the scariest decks to face in the format. Odd Rogue also maintains its spot near the top of Tier 2 in the post-nerf meta, and that's despite being directly affected by the Secret Passage nerf. Skolomance era Odd Rogue combines its traditional pirate package and enhanced hero power with powerful new Skolomance cards and solid anti-Highlander tech to establish itself as a solid ladder deck with a stable matchup spread. While it's slower than Kingsbane Rogue on paper, it is more stable against anti-weapon hate cards that tends to lay Kingsbane low. The result is a deck that can hold its own against priests and other aggro decks alike. And speaking of aggro decks, let's talk about the return of Aggro Druid, which is quickly becoming one of the most common decks you'll face on ladder. Aggro Druid packs a classic combination of early minions and AoE buffs that conquers the board in rapid fashion, and it's been evolving in the Skolomance meta despite being overshadowed by Dark Glare Zoo Warlock. After the Dark Glare nerf, Aggro Druid has been free to gain traction, and with the adoption of Embiggen, the draw power of Voracious Reader, and a slew of other updates from Skolomance Academy, Aggro Druid is just as resilient as it is deadly. Beyond that, Aggro Druid's greatest advantage may be in the mulligan phase, where it can easily take advantage of opponents who mulligan expecting a defensive combo Druid, only to be overrun by Aggro Druid's overwhelming speed. Defensive Druid decks are also making a comeback in the new Skolomance meta, and it may be Jade Druid that sees the biggest resurgence of them all. Despite the early nerf of Kel'thas Sunstrider, Druid has been able to regroup with the development of the Wild Guardian Animals package, and with Dark Glare's used departure, Druid is no longer held back by the omnipresence of Lotheb and Colt Neophyte that would doom it in the Warlock matchup.
up. After the patch, the newly reworked Jade Druid now finds itself in an excellent position in the post-nerf meta. Against the new meta's glut of aggro decks, Jade's defensive tools and armor gain give it the means to stay alive and reclaim the board, and against lower decks like Reno Priest, Jade can leverage an abundance of colossal threats and immunity to fatigue in order to dominate the late game. With these advantages, Jade Druid has returned to form as a competitive deck that's more than capable of taking the ladder by storm. Altogether, the recent balance patch has been a fantastic boon for the wild meta. With Dark Lair Zoo Warlock dropping out of the top tier viability, Wild is free to develop outside of its looming shadow. Reno Priest sits at the top spot for now, but its counters and their counters are free to flourish, and we're looking forward to seeing a balanced meta develop from here. Check out the full meta report over on our website for all the details, and as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with our Wild Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching!